Welcome to my channel, The Quilting Compound. I'm Jamie, and today I want to share a quilt with you, and I want to tell you how it all started. I have a subscriber, I hope she's a subscriber, who said she didn't care anything about pre-cuts. She didn't like scraps. She didn't want to make a quilt out of any of those things. She wanted to make a quilt out of yardage. So I said challenge accepted. So the quilt behind me, is what I've come up with. And this is using four yards of fabric, four different color yards of fabric. And I also had enough left over to make a pillow that you see over there in the corner. And if I want, I drew the pattern up just as it is, but you can see I have another right there. I have an extra row that I can add on that is totally up to you. The quilt measures, I think it was 52 and a quarter by 63 and a quarter. So a decent size quilt. And I will, I'll probably sew that on, but as of right now, my pattern does not include that extra yardage, but you, you can get, you know, whatever you can get from the leftover cuts, I say go for it. So to get started, pick out four yards of fabric. As you see back here, I kind of, I, my color chart was actually yellow, pink, the light blue, and then the dark blue. That's how I lined them up. So with this quilt that I'm gonna make, just like this pattern, I'm gonna show you how to do. That's my practice, my prototype, whatever you wanna call it. My sample, I guess. This will be fabric number one. This will be fabric number two. This will be fabric number three, and this will be my fabric number four. So I'm kind of going light, a light medium, a dark medium, and then a dark. So this are the four yards I'm going to use. Okay, so you need one yard of each. Now this is the catch. You have to make sure it's an actual yard. You can't have any, you know, when they get cut, sometimes they run crooked and then you have to line it up and you end up losing an inch off of your 36 inches. So you need 36 inches to get the four and a half inch cut that we're gonna make. But I'll tell you this, if you found your favorite fabric and maybe it is, a little short, just make your strip set cuts four inches. All of mine are plenty big. A lot of times when they cut your fabric at a fabric store, they'll give you an extra inch, you know, just in case. So all I'm, I'm good to go on all these and I'm good to go on those. So I can get a four and a half inch cut. If you can't just drop it down to four and a quarter or four or however you want to do it, that'd be fine. It, it'll it all work with that strip set cut. And you'll see what I mean by strip set cut. And I don't want to confuse everybody. So of course, I, I have a printout here <laughs> for you that I'm going to put a picture up on the screen so you'll know what I'm talking about. So go ahead, get your four yards, get them pressed, and I'll wait. Just kidding. And I'm gonna show you how to make your first cuts to make this quilt right here. So challenge accepted for the yardage. This is four yards, you get a quilt and a pillow. So here we go. Okay, so there is a correction. Um, I will, you'll hear me talk about it in the video, but I do want to show you the correct cutting. This is the correct sheet for cut cutting all your strips. I'm going to put it throughout the video. If you don't see this, that means that was something I didn't catch the, um, I think it was on strip set number three. I just wanted everybody to see it before you start making your cuts. Even though if you do make them wrong, you'll still have plenty to, to fix it. So 
Here we go. Okay, so I brought you over here to my cutting table and I wanted to show you the, uh, and give you the measurements of the exact cut you will need. This is my fabric number one. You would also need um, some kind of labeling system, whether it's just pieces of paper, the like that little alphabetes from the Fat Quarter Shop, something like that, one through four. So you know what fabric is what. And it's very important that you know what is one, two, three, and four when we start laying this out. Um, so each yard, and you have four, you will cut eight strips. The strips will measure four and a half by the width of fabric. If by chance your fabric is a little short, just cut your strips at four inches instead. So it, it's giving that way. So that's that will solve that problem. If your favorite yardage is a little short, just cut them at four inches instead of four and a half. See, I got a little crooked here. Uh, so I'm gonna straighten that up. So I'll just cut that and then I'll line it up at four and a half and, and get that all straightened up. So this is my strip set starting for number one. Be careful when you measure and you cut. So go ahead, I've got uh, six more to cut. So I have all my strip sets cut here. There's eight in each one. So eight times four is 32, so you should have 32 strips here. So what we want to do now is we are gonna lay these out in the first strip set of how they are to be sewed. And this is strip set number one, two, three, and four. So with this, I'm gonna sew one, one to two, of course. And I would keep them labeled three, and then here's my number four. So I want to I want to sew them in that order: one, two, three, and four. So that is for the first strip set. So you'll need two strip set units of strip set number one, which I've showed you right here. Which I'm doing light, medium, medium dark, then dark. So one, two, three, four. So I will need to collect one more. two, three, and four. So I'll sew these together. Keep these labeled. It's very important that you keep your strip set what is what, because if you did not like a, the light uh, to dark like I'm doing, maybe you did a, um, I don't know, maybe you just did a scrap type stash, you know, bust your stash with your yardage if they're not in any type of, you know, light to dark. So you'll, you'll wanna be able to keep up with your strips is what I'm trying to say. So now I'm gonna go sew all these up. I'm back over here at my sewing machine with a little different um, angle. You might see some fabric on the floor over here and some other stuff. I really searched through my yardage to find another quilt to make like this. So we'll see if, how this one turns. Strip set one. Here's strip set two. Grab my foot pedal. I have wound bobbins. I don't have a whole lot of my thread up here left, but I've got some over here. So we want to sew these together, one to two. So now three and four. Okay. 
Okay, now we're gonna clip these apart. Let's open it up. So this is how it goes. One and two, three and four. So just make sure when you sew it together that you sew the right strip to the to the right strip. Okay, so here is the first of strip set number one. So I've got one more to make that will look just like this. And then we'll go on to the next strip set. And if you're following along with me by chance, all these will be pressed down. So down from number one is up here. It needs to go down towards number four on both of the strip sets. Okay, so now we need to make strip set number two and you will also need two of those. And to do that, I have made a chart of the layout of my strip sets. So this is it. And I will also post a picture of that so what you need to do basically is this. You will need to take the number four. It will now go at the top, four, and then you will take your number one, then your number two, and then your number three. So that is how strip set number two will be laid out. You're basically just taking the bottom, putting it at the top and pushing everything down. And I have the layout for you to keep it less confusing. This might be a good time. And like I said before, you'll need two strip sets. So go ahead and pull the other strips over. If you wanna clip it, which strip set is which, after you get both on here. So this is how I'm I'm keeping up with mine. This is how I did that one to keep up with my strip sets. So this is the layout for strip set number two. You'll need two. I'll post a picture, but here again, this is what your strip sets will look like. Okay, so I'm taking these back over here to my sewing machine and I will get these sewed up. Here is my strip set unit number two. I made two of them and I pressed them. These you need to press up towards the blue, which would be num my number four in this one. Okay, and I also wanna make sure that I have made this clear. If you're one yard cut, is cut a little wonky or whatever, and you cannot get eight four and a half inch strips and you wanna knock it down to four, that means all your strips have to be cut to four, every one of them. Now, they do have to match that way. So I just wanted to make sure, I don't want anybody <laughs> to start cutting and then cut one four and a half and one four because now that won't work. I'm on to strip set number three. All right, strip set number three is I wanted to take my orange, my burnt orange, number three, and it's gonna go at the top. And of course, I'm gonna need two units. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab those. And the next will be my navy blue. Again, we're just pushing everything down. And then number one, will be next and then number two as long as you keep them labeled you shouldn't have a problem and I have the chart here 
See, basically you're just, this is your first, and then you're just bringing one from the bottom up to the top. And that's how we will get the layout like the quilt I have on the wall. So I'll sew these together. And as long as you, uh, if you take a screenshot of the chart I've made, you shouldn't have any problem keeping it together. We will sew this strip set, these two strip sets together. Here is strip set number three. So with number three, my third fabric that I, and my first has made it all the way to the top. So that's what we're going for. And I want to tell you that you press this strip set down. So down that way. I've got both of them sewn up. And I will also take one of these little uh, papers that I have made here. And here's my number three, it's over here. And I'm gonna clip it on so I rem it's a easier to remember. It's not like I can look at my sheet and it will tell me what it is, but I may as well just go ahead and mark it. So now we're on to strip set number four already. Okay, so here we are with strip set number four, the last strip set that we have to make. Here's our sheet. So we need to go two, three, four, and one. So two, three, four, and one. So this is the order that we will sew the last strip set. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these over to the machine, sew those up. And then with this, we press these up. Okay, so here is my strip set number four. So the last ones are done. Remember, you need two of each. So this is what it looks like. I think it's got pretty decent contrast, so um, hopefully it will work. So our next step is we're gonna start to do our subcuts. And of course, I've got those all wrote out for you. I'm gonna show you the page and you can just take a screenshot. And so I'm gonna go ahead and label this number four. All right, I'm back over here at my cutting table and this is strip set number one and I made two. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this edge here with strip set number one. I'll go ahead and let you take a screenshot. Out of this strip set, I need to cut four one and a half inch strips. And I also wanna tell you, if you don't wanna use a small one and a half inch strip, you will have enough fabric left in this or you could make it bigger. You're just not gonna get that angle in the beginning of the quilt like I have. I need to cut four one and a half inch strips out of strip set number one. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. It's gonna be a little off. I'm gonna flip it around and straighten it up because I didn't have everything lined up like I should. So we need four one and a half inch strips out of strip set number one. You will have enough left over in your strip set. If you make any kind of boo-boo, you'll have plenty. So now I need eight three and a half inch strips. Let's go ahead and get these put to the side. So there's my four one and a half. Now I need seven more of the three and a half. If your strips get a little wonky, just cut it a little bigger, then trim to the correct size. Or you can flip your uh, the strip unit down and start from that side. So two, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here are my eight strips. And this is what you have left. So if you made any boo-boos or anything like that, you have this left to get you through. But remember, I also made a pillow. So you can always use that in the pillow or you can see if you can get enough of this to make an extra strip. So hang on to these. So get your next strip set, number one. Strip number one, the two and a half. So what I really wanna do is I want to put something over that so I don't make any boo-boos. So that's what I did. I just put something over top of the measurements that I already cut on number one, cause I don't wanna end up cutting the same so I need four, four and a half inch cuts. Let's move my threes over here. I need eight, two and a half inch cuts. three more. I think this got a little crooked, so I'm going to go ahead and cut a little over then trim. I've got plenty of room to do that. So I'm going to just flip this around to get my two and a half. Okay, so here are my eight two and a half inch cuts. Let me count again, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So those are all the strip sets that I make out of the two strip set unit number one. And this is what I have left. So if I made any kind of boo-boos, I think I've got about, what, four and a half inches left here. Uh, about four and a quarter because of the selvage. So I still have, if anything happens, I still have a little bit to play with on that. All right, now I'm gonna keep all of these labeled what they are, because this is strip set number one. So this is the four, the three, two, and one. So strip set number one, And I'm going to attach those, and then we're gonna go on to strip set number two. All right, so this is strip sets for number one, cut. And we will be on to number two. All right, so now we're on strip set number two. We've made two, we pressed up. Now, out of the first strip set, we need to cut four two and a half inch strips and then eight three and a half inch strips. So, four two and a half and eight three and a half. Okay. So, we need four two and a half. All right. Here's one, three more to go. Strip set number two, the blue goes at the top. So when I lay these out, I wanna make sure I lay what goes at the top. Just for my peace of mind. All right, so that is all of the two and a half. I need eight, three and a half. So I'm gonna move, go ahead and move this down to get my eight, three and a half. I think this needs to be trimmed up again. I must have sewed this really crooked. There we go. 
Okay, so I need seven more three and a half inch strips. Okay, so I've got my eight three and a half inch strips cut. And so our next step is we are going to move on down to the strip sets. We need four, four and a half. Let's get down to here. Four, four and a half, and then eight, one and a half. So that's what we're getting ready to cut. All right, so I went ahead and cut my eight one and a half inch strips and my four four and a half inch strips. So that completes the cuts for strip sets number two. And I would really, <laughs> I would label them. So I'm gonna attach this number two on here I'm going to set these aside and we're going to be on to number three. So it's not taking long to get these cut. And so here is the cuts for number three. So we've got four, one and a half and eight, three and a half for the first strip set unit. And I'll get strip set number three. It's going pretty quick. Here are my strip set uh, cuts for number three. So I needed four, one and a half, and eight, three and a half, and this is what is left. So if I, you know, if I have enough left, I may be able to add on a row, make the pillow, or do whatever need to with this. But you don't have enough of this strip set unit. You need eight, two and a half. And four, four and a half. So those are the cuts I'm gonna make. So this is all the measurements and cuts for strip set number three. So I'm gonna attach this. And now we're on to strip set number four. Okay, I've got strip set number four laid out here. Cuts four, four and a half, eight, two and a half for the first strip set unit. So here are all my strip set cuts for strip set number four. This is the first one I did for four and a half, eight, two and a half. And then with the next strip set cut, I did four, uh, one and a half and eight, three and a half. And this is what I have left of the second strip set cut of number four. Okay, and I wanna keep this labeled. This is number four. So now we have cut everything. Now all we have to do is lay this quilt out. And I'm gonna show you how to lay it out on my wall. Uh, I do have all of that wrote out also. And I also have it printed out. Okay, so this is the original quilt that I made. I wanted to give you a little closer look. So it is very similar to a Bargello. I did create this myself and it took me it took me a while to get the layout right. If you see up here, I have all those white papers. That is what strip sets you will use when you make this quilt. I also have it printed out and wrote out, I, I think I told you that earlier, on which strip to use. So I've got all of that going on. And so now I want you to take a look at it. I am gonna go ahead and take this off the wall and start laying out the pieces that I just cut from the other fabric. Okay, so I'm gonna start laying this out. I still have my sheets up here. This is my guideline and I'm gonna share that with you also. I have them numbered and everything. So what I did is I started out with number four. So number four, four and a half is our first strip unit. So this is my number four strip set unit. So I need the four and a half and I will need four. We are going to lay this out in vertical rows. So I will start laying this up here. Let's see what you can see. Number four, four and a half. So that is our first row, right there. 
So our next is number three, because I went backwards. I went four, three, two, one. So we'll need the number three strip set unit. And that's why I said to go ahead and keep them labeled. So now I will need four of the three and a half. So four, three and a half. So that is the way I'll lay it out on each row. Okay, so now we're on to number two, and this is the number two strip set unit. So I will need four of the two and a half, four, two and a half. Let me just keep these close. So there is our four, two and a half. Okay, so our next strip we need is the number one. This is our strip set number one I made, remember? Because it started out the lightest and went to the dark. And I need a one and a half inch strip from that. We need four strips, not one. All right, so that is our first four strip sets. I hope you can see that. Um, so now the next step is we do the same thing, except I'm gonna do four, three, two, one, except with different sizes. So the next strip, you get four one and a half inch strips from your strip set unit four. So this is strip set unit four, and I will need four one and a half. This is how the quilt's gonna be laid out, and you can see how my colors are going right here. So I'm really interested to see how this, <clears throat> this is gonna look. And I'll have all the measurements, have which each one goes across there for you. Okay, so here is the layout of the quilt. It goes up really quick. I have all my papers at the top and all in order of how the blocks are laid out. I went ahead and separated them into four um, strip unit rows like this. So this is the layout of the quilt. If I wanted to add another row on, I could look at the fabric that I have left. And if I can get four of the same, which I, I'm pretty sure I can, I could add another row if I wanted to make it wider. Uh, I think it's about, when it's done, it should measure about 58, I think I told you, 58 and a quarter by 63 and a quarter, something like that. So this is the layout. Okay, I wanted to show you how I am sewing up my vertical rows. I have sewn up this section of vertical and this, and then I will piece that those two together in vertical rows because all the seams, if you pr pressed how I, uh, in the directions, um, all the seams nest. So it makes it really easy to sew the long strips this way. So this is just an idea of how I am sewing it together. I've got that one sewn. I'm over here on this row starting to piece the individual blocks together or strip blocks. I don't want to confuse anybody. It won't be much longer. It doesn't take long to sew this up. Okay, so I want to give you a little bit of the view of some of the blocks. So this is uh, the top uh, block uh, number five. As you see, all the pieces, they all nest. And then I'll sew these two together, which they will nest. And I wanted to tell you, on the top rows, one, and that is how I'm sewing them. I will press those toward the left. Row two goes towards the right, then left, then right. So that is the way I'm pressing my individual um, block sets. So this is a block set, because um, it's the top, it'll go towards the left. So top row towards the left, the second row towards the right, and then the third section. So that's how all of that goes. Now, 
You can see the diagonal here I have running. That's exactly what I want in all my blocks. So now just flip this over, sew this on. These blocks are really, really easy to sew up. So as you see here, I've got all my strip set rows sewn. And so now it's just time to sew those together. Here is my finished quilt top. It measures 59 and a quarter by 63 and a quarter. Uh, as you can see over here on this side, I have um, three additional strip set units lined up. I think I'm gonna go ahead and sew those together and add it to the quilt. Those are the extra pieces that I had left over from the strip set units. Um, with the first quilt, the pink and blue and yellow, I took the extra strip sets and made a pillow. This time I decided to go ahead and I'm gonna add that onto my quilt. It will be wider than it is longer that way. I'll live with that just a little bit, or I could just add two of the strip sets and it would be about almost square. So that is a choice you have with this. You can add the extra rows, you can make a pillow, you can say, hey, I'm done with this. This is four yards for the top. I do have a, an additional uh, yard of the blue and uh, the burnt orange. So that will be my binding. Uh, I will put no border on this. Hopefully this will be a Christmas present for someone. Um, so this is my four yard quilt. This is the challenge of making a quilt with yard yardage. And so I did it. This is my, my version and I'm gonna call it, um, I don't know, four yard paths. So it looks like a path. And remember, um, I, of course, I'm giving you all the instructions here. You can change your layout with the strips however you want it. I kind of made it go up and back down. And now when I add those, it's going to go up. You can decide if you want it to go up more um, down here instead of keep going down. It kind of just, I say cascades down. You can always change that. And I don't know how well the video is showing the colors of this. From here, it doesn't look like it, it shows it necessarily well, but I, I think this would be also really good right now if you wanted to do it Christmas colors. It would be great with batiks or the gradation fabrics. And this is an easy quilt. You can decide how you want to lay out your strip sets. So, and that's, so it's versatile. You just need to make sure you have four. And if you want to make it bigger, longer, if you can get another strip set unit at the bottom, you can also do that. So this is my four yard quilt and I hope you like it. I hope you try to make it. If you have any questions, email me at uh, thequiltingcompound at gmail.com. If you have any questions, also, if you don't want to email me, you can just put them in the comment box below the video. That is all I've got for you today. So if you could, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.